How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Glenn Beck purchasing CRTV. So now his network, The Blaze, has combined with CRTV to create Blaze TV. There's a lot that has been said about this, some rumors that have been kind of floating around, some information that's not 100% right, and I'm going to give you all of what I have based upon my reading and research over the past day. Now, first things first, the elephant in the room, Gavin McInnes. Right after it was announced that CRTV would combine with The Blaze via Glenn Beck to become Blaze TV, a tweet came out from Blaze TV, CRTV, whatever you want to call it right now, that says that Gavin will no longer be with the company. And they can't comment on it anymore because it will violate company policy. Right when that came out, I assume, just like most others assume, that Glenn Beck was the reason why Gavin McInnes was no longer on the platform. Because Gavin has been basically unpersoned and deplatformed from the internet. He's not on Facebook anymore, not on Twitter anymore, Instagram. Matter of fact, this morning, YouTube said that they removed his account for quote unquote copyright violations okay it seems kind of a coincidence that you've been removed from all these other social media platforms a company they put out a statement talking about you're not going to be there anymore and the very next day you get let go from youtube for copyright but that's a whole different story with all that being said it made sense to think that glenn beck got rid of gavin because let's be clear Although Glenn Beck is seen as a conservative, he kind of has been operating as more of a centrist or a leftist, a big time never Trumper. Remember when he put his face in the bowl of Cheetos talking about he must have his skin orange like Trump, all this, that. And the third, it just made sense. You put two and two together, it equals four. But my assumption was wrong because he actually defended Gavin and said that, hey, I had nothing to do with it. The whole thing between CRTV, he didn't say the Blaze TV, the whole thing between CRTV and Gavin, according to Glenn Beck, had been going on for a very long time, okay? And I think it was because of all the storm that's been surrounding him with the Proud Boys and the federal stuff. And by the way, it was this report that came out talking about, oh, well, the Proud Boys is a terrorist organization or an extremist group. I think it was an extremist group. The FBI came out and said, that's not true. It was kind of a misinterpretation or miscommunication. There was a slideshow in Oregon with some people, with some officials, and they were trying to point out that some of the guys in the Proud Boys could be extremists, but not that the entire organization of the Proud Boys, which is not even really a true organization, in my humble opinion, it's like a loosely affiliated network. They did not come out and say that that particular network was extremists, it was just that some of the guys in there could be that was taken as the entire group is and the media pretty much picked it up and ran with it. I doubt you'll see any retractions from these mainstream media outlets about that. So I'm putting it right here in this video so you're able to get the real news. And of course, I will place the source for that in the box below so you can read it for yourself. But I digress. Now, people are saying, why has CRTV been purchased by Glenn Beck? What's the point? I mean, the Blaze, as far as I know, wasn't really doing very well. Was it failing? Was it bankrupt? Was it insolvent? I really don't know. But I hadn't heard much from them over the past year or so. I think that CRTV had financial problems. Let's look at some evidence. Mark Stein was let go, fire, or whatever. And there's a lawsuit from him against the Blaze because of breach of contract. Allegedly, CRTV was trying to go bankrupt to prevent from paying Mark Stein the money that was in the lawsuit. And you've also seen things with Louder Crowder, who was like, I would say, the biggest star on the platform. All right. I mean, of course, you got Mark Levin, who, in my opinion, is better than everybody on there, including Beck and including Crowder. But I think Crowder is the main one with the mug club and stuff like that. He's probably the main pusher of the platform. He fired half his staff, if I'm not mistaken. Not gay Jared left. Now, 
when Nat Gay Jarrett left, they had this whole big thing talking about, oh, I'm going to be a dad now, this, that, and the third. But why leave the company? Why must you leave because your wife is having the baby? What's the point? Maybe because you're not really getting paid over there and you got to get out. It's going to be to support your family. Who knows? But he left. This guy named Sven Computer left with no explanation. And Crowder now is going on some kind of medical leave right around the time when this whole merger happens. He just happens to not be there. OK, so it seems kind of fishy. They probably have some financial problems over at Louder Crowder. As is the same thing with the rest of the platform. Some people have already quit right now. They've jumped off the sinking ship. Michelle Malkin quit right away. Instantly. And I think she knows where this is going. Because Glenn Beck has failed with the Blaze before. Matter of fact, Ali Stuckey left the Blaze to go join CRTV. Now she's right back up under Glenn Beck. What's going to be any different about CRTV now that Glenn Beck is in charge and has changed it into the blaze again. Like, how is it going to be any different? I think some of these online companies, these YouTube personalities, when they get with a company like CRTV that's not quite mainstream media, they underestimate what it takes to have a, a live show every day or pre recorded shows every day, producers, writers, directors. Uh, they underestimate what it takes. You know, personally, I've been asked to be on mainstream TV. Well, I've been asked to go audition for a mainstream TV role. I won't mention it, but I will say this as a hint. It is not a conservative outlet. So you know, if you think of Fox News, no, that'd be nice to be a guest on there. And I'll explain why I guess not a permanent member. But I got the offer to go try out in New York. I was like, nah, I'm good doing my YouTube thing because I don't want to be up under a company or up under somebody else because I don't know what they have going on. I'd rather just be up under YouTube because I can control more of my own destiny. Yes, YouTube is imperfect. Yes, YouTube does have flaws. Yes, YouTube does engage in some kind of partisan thing. But at the same time, these companies that are going to offer you an alternative aren't always that much better as is the case with CRTV. Prime example, like I said, Ali Stuckey, you leave the blaze because they're not doing right. You go to CRTV. Now it's the blaze again. What do you do now? I have more control of my own destiny doing what I'm doing here. I don't have to worry about any kind of conflict of interest. I could do whatever I want. I can go over here and support Turner Point USA. I can go support O'Shea Duke Jackson. I can go support the gaming community. I can go do my thing. Whatever I want to do, I can do. I don't have to worry about the company that's over me. You know, that's just pretty much how that goes. So hopefully the people that are over there at CRTV are able to get away from that because I feel like this is going to be an asset flip for Glenn Beck. What I mean by that is Glenn Beck comes in and sees they have all these people that are on the roster and he decides to rebrand it, change the image, and sell it if somebody else make profit. And then when that happens, who knows what's going to happen? I don't like going for team to team like that. I'd rather stay kind of consistent doing my thing and grow as much on my own as possible. Therefore, I have the biggest amount of freedom. I understand why you would go to CRTV. But maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be. That's pretty much all I got. So what say you? Do you think that Glenn Beck will ruin CRTV the same way the Blaze has been operated? Now, I don't think the Blaze was totally out of business. Some people said that they were already on the Blaze as a member and they don't mind going to CRTV. But um, <laughs> at the same time, I've not really heard that much from the Blaze. If you watch the Blaze, who was on there? Just Glenn Beck by himself? And do you want to pay the money that it costs to sign up to the Blaze TV, CRTV, whatever you want to call it? In my mind, it's a little bit too expensive. Let's get this one thing out the way. You're competing with free content on YouTube, first of all. Second of all, as far as paid content is concerned, you have better alternatives, in my opinion, as far as a variety of content. Not the type of content that CRTV has, 
but the variety of content is better on other paid platforms netflix hulu amazon etc they're asking for a hundred bucks a year if you pay it at once 10 bucks a month you can get netflix for that or right around that maybe like a dollar or two more you can get amazon prime for that or a little bit right like 12 dollars a month you can get hulu for that you can get Crunchyroll for that there are other platforms with much more content with movies and all of that that you can get for the equivalent of a crt membership so in order for you to get crtv you must really like them it's kind of like um a donation a patreon donation it's like that it's not really for a, a a wide scope of content and now that you have gavin gone michelle mocking gone lateral crowder maybe gone as well eventually not right now but eventually what are you really going to get for the money do you want to pay that do you think that this would be good for CRTV because like I said, it could have been money problems. They had a lawsuit with Mark Stein, this, that, and a third. Can it revitalize it? Lateral Crowder was going through some issues where they were having a daily show that was not daily. What was the hashtag? Never daily. Will this infusion of capital from Glenn Beck be able to revitalize some of these shows like Lateral Crowder and bring them back to being daily? Whatever your comments are, Please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.